Kami percaya musik adalah media yang sangat kuat untuk menyampaikan pesan kepada publik. Musik ini keluar dari hati, bercerita tentang kebebasan, cinta, dan perdamaian. This is the premium grunge band I'll ever see in my entire life in Indonesia. Navigulais, I think they are the the hero of grunge now in, in Indonesia. Navigula music, Navigula songs are not talking about self-alienation, pessimism. They're talking about spirit, they're talking about peace, they're talking about how to save the world, they're talking about how to protect the environment. Their lyrics is really deep and if you uh, understand the Indonesian, how they use it, and also they never talk about I love you or that, no, they just talk about uh, the dead river. Mm -hmm. You never do that in Indonesian lyrics. <laughs> Nabikula, they didn't have gimmicks on their uh, performance. They just playing the music straight from the heart. They just talk what they want to talk. They kind they, they do not pretend as rock stars, but I see them as, as a real rock stars. They're really unique. You talk about skill, they're one of the best. You talk about lyrics, they're one of the most smart. Uh, about the music and uh, the message and everything, they've got everything. Wobi, the frontman, were very outspoken. He sings from his heart, and Danki, guitar playing, was so very, very, what do you say in, in English, um, so heavy, mm -hmm. but it also um, smooth and also clean either. Yeah. So, in the mood, he raped the drums, I guess. He just, he's not playing, he, he raped the drums, he eat the drums, and while mother was playing, I uh, kind of remember him with the bass player from Race Against the Machine, Brad Will. Right. Uh -huh. So, when I saw Nafikula on stage, I saw a real rock band. And Napikula was formed in 1996. Yeah, at the time I was still in high school, in second grade of senior high school in Indonesia. And at the time I met Danki Ekadana. We create our songs around 1997, the first songs. And then the first time we play uh, on Banjar, you know, you know Banjar on yeah. Bali is like yeah. community center. And then hey, the first time like we start on stage like 1996. And then <coughs> we met Gumbul. At the first time we do we going to the studio. Yeah, we don't have in, uh, our own studio. We still rent a studio for rehearsing and jamming, and we start. The first one is running so well. It's like a, it's just start and then it's on. Right. It's nothing, no problemo. It's like it's all running well, and I I really enjoyed the first time. It's like my I took my first virginity. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, we have like a, actually he really big fans of our band Abdullah and his mother. Uh, he has guitar, bass, and some stomachs. So, and his house is close to my house. So every time he has a gig, can I borrow your guitars? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's, you know. 
sebelum saya bergabung dengan Avicula itu Robi dan Dangki sering datang ke rumah saya untuk pinjam alat-alat musik karena saya dulu ya lumayan lengkap punya alat-alat musik dan akhirnya uh, suatu hari mereka mengajak saya jamming jamming dan akhirnya bergabung dengan Avicula. Ya, mengutip dari apa yang Mother Teresa bilang bahwa sebenarnya di dunia ini kita tidak bisa melakukan hal-hal yang besar yang kita bisa lakukan adalah melakukan hal-hal kecil dengan cinta yang besar dan ya kami percaya itu dan kami menjalaninya kami berusaha membuat suatu perubahan berpikir bagi pendengar musik kami dan kami percaya dunia harus berubah saat ini dan kami ingin menjadi bagian dari perubahan itu Nothing